Welcome to Eco Innova Tech. Today we're diving into the world of eco friendly materials, exploring five groundbreaking innovations that are making our products more sustainable. From biodegradable packaging to plant based plastics, let's look at how these materials are changing, changing the way we live and helping to protect our planet. Across the globe, innovators and entrepreneurs are rising to this challenge, seeking out nature's own solutions to our most pressing environmental concerns. Our journey begins in the hushed stillness of the forest floor amongst the fallen leaves and decaying wood. Here a hidden network thrives, the mycelium, the vegetative part of a fungus, a vast interconnected web of delicate threads. This unassuming organism holds a remarkable secret. It can be transformed into a material strikingly similar to animal leather. Mushroom-based leather, also known as mycelium leather, is a truly remarkable innovation. It replicates the look and feel of traditional leather, offering a cruelty-free and sustainable alternative. The process begins by cultivating the mycelium on a bed of organic material, such as sawdust or agricultural waste. As the mycelium grows, it forms a dense, interconnected mat. This mat is then harvested and processed using natural methods to create a durable and pliable material. The texture of mushroom leather can be surprisingly diverse, ranging from smooth and supple to textured and grained, mimicking the variety found in traditional animal hides. This versatility makes it ideal for a wide range of applications, from luxurious handbags and wallets to durable footwear and belts. Unlike traditional leather production, which requires vast amounts of land, water and chemicals, mushroom leather is remarkably eco-friendly. Its cultivation requires minimal resources and it generates very little waste. Furthermore, mushroom leather is completely biodegradable. Our next stop takes us from the forest floor to the vast expanse of the ocean, a realm teeming with life and surprisingly solutions to our plastic problem. Seaweed, that ubiquitous denizen of the coastal waters, holds the key to uh, revolutionizing the packaging industry. This fast growing regenerative resource is now being harnessed to create biodegradable packaging solutions offering a viable alternative to polluting plastics. Seaweed packaging brings us one step closer to this reality. Seaweed farming is remarkably eco-friendly. It requires no fresh water, no fertilizers and no pesticides. In fact, seaweed actually absorbs excess nutrients from the water, helping to improve water quality and prevent harmful algal blooms. Um, once harvested, seaweed can be processed into a variety of forms suitable for packaging. It can be dried and molded into trays and containers or extracted into bioplastics that can be formed into films and pouches. The applications of seaweed packaging are as diverse as the marine environments from which it originates. It is being used to package food, cosmetics, electronics and even clothing. The use of seaweed packaging represents a paradigm shift in our approach to waste management. Instead of creating persistent pollutants, we can design packaging that seamlessly returns to the natural cycle, leaving no trace of its existence. Chapter 3, From Field to Fashion, The Rise of Pineapple Leather. Our journey now takes us to the sun-drenched tropics, where a familiar fruit holds a surprising secret. Um, the pineapple, a symbol of hospitality and tropical abundance, is now at the forefront of um, sustainable fashion. While um, we savour the sweetness of the fruit, um, the leaves of the pineapple plant, traditionally discarded as agricultural waste, are being transformed into a remarkable textile known as pinatex. This innovative fabric is strong, lightweight and has a unique texture 
making it a popular alternative to traditional leather and synthetic materials. Uh, the process of creating Pinatex begins with the extraction of fibres from the pineapple leaves. These fibres are then processed and felted into a non-woven textile, resembling a natural leather. The resulting material is soft, durable and surprisingly versatile. By utilising a byproduct of the pineapple industry, Pinatex production reduces waste and provides additional income for farmers. Furthermore, the cultivation of pineapple plants requires minimal water and pesticides compared to traditional leather production. This makes Pinatex a more environmentally friendly choice, reducing our reliance on resource intensive practices. The emergence of Pinatex highlights the interconnectedness of our food systems and the fashion industry. Chapter 4, Building a Better Future, Recycled Plastic in Construction. Our exploration of sustainable materials now leads us to a rather unexpected destination, the construction site. For decades, construction has been a resource-intensive industry, relying on traditional materials like, um, like concrete and steel, but a revolution is underway, one that is transforming plastic waste from a persistent pollutant into a valuable building block for a more sustainable future. The use of recycled plastic in construction brings us one step closer to this vision. Plastic waste, once destined for landfills and oceans, is now being collected, sorted and processed into a variety of building materials. From durable and lightweight bricks and paving stones to innovative insulation panels and roofing tiles, the applications of recycled plastic in construction are remarkably diverse. These recycled plastic building materials offer numerous advantages over their traditional counterparts. They are often lighter than concrete, reducing transportation costs and emissions. They are also more durable and weather resistant, requiring less maintenance over their lifespan. Furthermore, the use of recycled plastic in construction reduces the demand for virgin materials, conserving precious natural resources and minimizing the environmental impact of the building industry. As we strive to build more sustainable and resilient cities, recycled plastic will undoubtedly play an increasingly important role. Chapter five, from peel to page, the promise of banana fiber paper. Our final destination takes us back to the tropics, uh, to the lush plantations where banana trees thrive. The humble banana, a staple food for millions, is now providing us with a remarkably eco-friendly alternative to traditional paper banana fiber paper. Banana fiber paper offers us a glimpse of this possibility. Um, for centuries, we have relied on trees as the primary source of paper, leading to deforestation and habitat loss. Banana fiber paper offers a sustainable alternative, utilizing the fibers extracted from the banana plant, a resource that is readily available and rapidly renewable. After the bananas are harvested, the plant's stem, traditionally considered agricultural waste, is harvested for its fibers. These fibers are then processed and pulped, similar to traditional paper making, to create a durable and versatile writing surface. Banana fiber paper possesses a unique texture and warmth, um, adding a touch of natural elegance to stationery, packaging, and even artwork. By utilizing a readily available agricultural byproduct, it reduces pressure on forests and promotes a more circular and eco-conscious approach to paper production. Furthermore, banana fiber paper is biodegradable, decomposing naturally and returning to the earth without leaving harmful residues. The development and adoption of banana fiber paper uh, highlight 
the interconnectedness of our consumption choices and their impact on the environment. Chapter 6, A Greener Future Together. These eco-friendly materials are just a glimpse into how innovation is reshaping our world. By choosing sustainable products, we can all contribute to a healthier planet. Thanks for watching Eco Innova Tech. Don't forget to like, um, subscribe and tell us in the comments which material you'd love to see more of in everyday products.